Welcome to Apex Philosophy, the perfect place to find motivation. Be sure to subscribe and listen every day so you can become your best self. Please like and share the video to help inspire others. Comfort will ruin your life. Humans are lazy. We are always wanting to take the easy way out. We want to solve a problem quickly and without any issues. Humans can be complacent and tend to avoid difficulty whenever they can. They set up camp firmly in their comfort zone and plan on staying there for as long as they can. Their comfort zone is their safe place where everything is predictable. They stick to doing the things they are familiar with even if they are soul-destroying, either due to laziness or fear of the unknown. We all have a comfort zone. We have a circle where we place ourselves and everything that represents this idea of safety. We are lazy in school. We refuse to change our set of beliefs. We look for the same dopamine rushes and we have the same job we've had for years, even though we hate it. All these things are signs of a wasted life because you refuse to branch out and expand your way of thinking beyond the horizon of what you thought was possible. If you want to be successful and happy, you can't be wasting your life in your comfort zone, slowly decaying and becoming more and more miserable as each day passes by. If you stay in your comfort zone for too long, you begin to stagnate. You begin to regress. If you give in to your current desire for comfort and for taking the easy route, you are hindering your chances of long-term success. You are limiting your future. Being stagnant ruins any progress you made and demotivates you. It's like a muscle you haven't used for a long time. It begins to atrophy. Without practice, exercise and weight training, those muscles become smaller and weaker. That is just like the comfort zone luring you into decay. This is why you need to escape it. If you interact with all the same stuff all the time, it will get to the point where you are too scared to venture out and do anything new or challenging. For example, if you aren't branching out, you can't meet new people and therefore your social circle starts to shrink. It will get to the point where you don't even want to speak to your close friends about the issues you may face because you fear opening up and the idea of vulnerability so much that you regress into your comfort zone and stay there. The comfort zone will isolate you and it will only hold you back. Progress gives you confidence. When you make progress by trying new things, it gives you the confidence to go out there and take on the world. You network more, you explore your interests more, and you achieve your goals more. The comfort zone is a killer of all progress. The same as when a muscle doesn't get used. If we don't challenge ourselves, we become smaller and weaker. The obstacles we face in life become harder to deal with because we are not prepared. This is the beauty of challenges. They keep us prepared. When we challenge ourselves, we push ourselves. And when we push ourselves, we end up leaving our comfort zone and moving into a new zone, the growth zone. 
The growth zone is a place to thrive. It is a place where you are uncertain about your path and you are uncertain of what to expect. But it will make you become the person you want to be. It will test you and it will challenge you and it will make you stronger. Imagine you are at the gym. If you lift the same weight every single day, you will maintain only one muscle and the rest will atrophy. But if you change it up, you will start seeing results and becoming more well-rounded. If you are studying a language, it will be pointless to just keep repeating the phrases you already know. The only way to master the language is to learn more words and expand beyond your current vocabulary. Growth is about making mistakes and failing and then learning from them. It's about entering territory you have never entered before and figuring out how to navigate through it all. There is no progress without challenges. You need to push yourself if you want to succeed. It is also important to remember that the comfort zone isn't one zone for everything, but rather different for each thing in your life. You may be in the growth zone for your goals at the gym and you see yourself regularly progressing, but then other skills you have, like social skills, are regressing and are beginning to stagnate. If you don't want your social skills to stagnate, you need to work on them as much as your gym skills and find a way to balance them. You are creating the person you want to be and therefore you need to be dedicated and branch outside of your comfort zone in all areas of your life. There are three ways to grow. The first is consistency, the process of doing something repeatedly. Practice makes perfect. The second is intensity, which means that when you do something, you are putting in maximum effort. The final way to grow is with duration. Increase the amount of time you spend, do things for longer or more often. An example of this is running. If you want to be consistent, you need to be running regularly each week. Become more consistent and you will grow. Be more intense with your running by doing sprints or running uphill. Do a more potent version of the task you were doing. Increase your duration. Instead of running for 20 minutes a day, try running for 30. If you were running three times a week before this, run four times this week and keep that going every week. The same works for the language example. Have four sessions a week instead of three. Practice harder phrases and spend longer on each session. Whatever it is you want to do, remember these three methods of growth. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean doing all three methods at once, since that might be too much. But it's about doing the ones you need to do and applying them accordingly. You need to take on some short-term discomfort for long-term gains. Now, this doesn't mean discomfort for the sake of it. It has to be logical and it can't be without purpose. If you were to break your leg, that is a short-term discomfort that won't bring you any positive changes in the future. There is no gain to injuring yourself like that. Instead, you need to be purposeful and with an aim when you look at your temporary discomfort. Studying makes you feel stupid at first. The short-term discomfort is that you don't understand the subject matter. And yet, by studying, you get smarter over time. 
That is the long-term gain. Eating healthy and cutting out sugary foods and drinks isn't fun, but over time, you maintain good health and you start to get into shape more, and that is the long-term gain. Push yourself through the short-term pain to be able to enjoy the long-term rewards. If the comfort zone is so bad and people hate their lives in it, why don't more of us get out of our comfort zone for this game? It is because there is a third zone outside of the growth zone called the danger zone. The danger zone is why we feel uncomfortable in the growth zone. It is the thing telling us that we might get hurt or we might fail or we might get into trouble. The danger zone is when we push ourselves too hard. It's when we don't balance things in our life and fail to rise out of the water for air. And when you enter the danger zone, you get hurt. If you are exercising and injure yourself because you were bench pressing more than you could lift, that's the danger zone. And so, growth is about balance and understanding your limitations. Keep one foot in the comfort zone and one foot in the growth zone. The danger zone is good because it acts as a warning system for us, but it is vital not to be controlled by it. Many people are thrilled to be in the danger zone, despite its toxicity. The way to succeed is to expand your comfort zone. Approach goals with small and manageable tasks. You go out there and you try something new. You go into unfamiliar territory. You push yourself further than you could go before. You run further, you lift heavier, and you study harder. Dive into these unknown waters and explore a bit. Just remember that you need to come back up for air sometimes. Drop back a bit and allow your comfort zone to catch up with you and your demands. All this new stuff will soon become your new normal, your new comfort zone. There will be a point where you used to lift 100 pounds and now you can lift 120 pounds. That 120 pounds should be your new normal. If you can do it once, do it again and again until you can do it without fail. And when it becomes your new comfort zone, then it is time to expand again. This is what gives you drive and motivation as you are eager to constantly escape your comfort zone. Progress builds confidence and if you are achieving things then it will make you want to keep venturing out there and going further than you could ever have imagined. By repeating this process, you are developing a consistency that will eventually become a habit for you. Habits take time to form, but if you nurture them and work on them hard enough and for long enough, they form a pathway through life that you will never lose. Build the habit of expanding your comfort zone. Burnout is a serious demotivator. This is why you can't keep expanding forever in one go. You will burn yourself out and you will fail so hard that you want to just quit and stay in your comfort zone. You need to remember to go back up to the surface for air when things get too difficult and you have the humility to admit to yourself 
when they are. And if you do push yourself too hard and injure yourself, don't let that become a justification for staying in your comfort zone. The comfort zone is not a permanent place. It is a temporary refuge. Find yourself a worthy challenge. Find yourself something that gets you excited for the day and gets you out of bed each morning. That is what you are working towards. And that goal may seem daunting at first, but by starting the process, you start the path to success and you are venturing out into a new world where you can take on anything. It's like falling dominoes in which success fuels further success. There is a chain reaction caused by taking the initiative to attack life head first. When you achieve something, it motivates you to want to achieve something else, which creates a positive feedback loop. The question you now have to ask yourself is, what is your goal? And are you willing to leave your comfort zone to achieve it? Thank you for listening. Comment below. What goal are you willing to leave your comfort zone for? Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.